All right, today we're putting together a raindrop heat cable system. Here are our parts. We got the downspout hanger, the heat cable, and some zip ties. First, we remove the guards and put them off to the side. Step one is to feed the cable down the downspout. Plug first until the plug comes out the bottom. Pull the cord out until you get to the heating element. Then we're going to lay the heat cable into the gutter loosely. This installation calls for two heat cables, one in the front and one in the back. We're going to zip tie the heat cable to the bracket, pull it tight, snip off the excess. We run that heat cable towards the back of the gutter about an inch or two away from the fascia board. That's going to melt all the black ice along the roof edge. Now we come to the corner, we just let the cable lay naturally into the corner. A nice consistent bend around the valley. Alright, once you clip off the excess zip tie, you want to turn that around so that point's not sticking up through the guard. Trim it off as best you can. The final zip tie is the last gutter bracket, then you start working your way back. Now you got your two heat cables, one at the front, one at the back. The front cables are going to control all the icicles along the front edge, and the back one's going to control all the black ice along the roof edge. Zip tie it off, make a natural curve around the corner, and your final piece is tied off to the bracket within an inch or two of the other heat cable. I'm going to have to put an extra bracket in here above the outlet to hold my downspout hanger. Take your downspout hanger, you bend it, give it a nice smooth transitional curve and secure that to the heat cable using zip ties. Do the bottom cable first. Simply tie it on. This downspout hanger centers the heat cable right down the center of the downspout so it's not blocking any small debris that's flushing out of the gutter. Zip tie the bottom edge first and then the second edge. And we're done with the heat cable install. Put your old guards back in place. Secure them. You see how that cable is within an inch or two of the guard? That's going to keep the snow off the guard itself. Now there you go. All we need now is snow. For more information, go to raindropgutterguard.com.